Hi everyone, my name's Emma. Okay, hello, I'm Rajesh. I'm the module leader for DMX 1030. I'm the module leader for DMX 1030, Teaching and Learning. So Rajesh and I are going to have a quick chat about the module so that you learn a little bit more about it. What you can see on screen is a image from a film about the Children's Village School, which is a school in Thailand um, for orphaned and disadvantaged children that uses the Summerhill method. Rajesh, have you heard of the Summerhill method before? I have heard of the Summerhill method, Emma. The Summerhill method, um, it's a democratic method, so it gives full agency and autonomy to the students in the school. It's quite an interesting and controversial method. I'd be quite interested to learn about how our students on the module respond to that. Would you send your kids to a Summerhill school, do you think? Um, well, I can't afford to because it's private here at the moment, but um, so there you go. But um, I am worried about um, the, you know, like um, loss of democrat democratic values in mainstream schooling. So um, for that reason, I'd be interested in how we can improve democracy within within education environments. What are your ideas about that? Um, well, I think there's um, an overt focus on what I term behaviourist methods, which is, you know, um, we're pouring the learning into children and I prefer to see learning more of a process. So I'm quite attracted to what I call humanistic learning, which is um, understanding the motivations of learners and using that to um, create your um, curriculum. Um, and also that depends on thinking about your own identity as a teacher, because very often and when I was a young teacher, I thought I had to stand at the front, shout at people and get them to do things. That didn't work for me. Um, yeah, the, the democratic method has certainly got pros and cons and it provokes response. Of course, there's lots and lots of different ways in which education has been understood. I'm really interested in the idea of education as power um, and it can work both ways, can't it? It can both give power and agency uh, to learners and it can take power and agency away. So I think that coming on a master's programme will enable us to explore teacher identity, professionalism, but also connect to different theories of, of looking at teaching as well. Thanks for that, Rajesh. So let's tell you a little bit about how we're going to run the module. The assessment is a straightforward 6,000 word written piece. And what we're going to ask you to do in that piece is to give a, a, a critical account of curriculum, teacher professionalism, teaching and learning, an exploration of what makes good teaching practice. We'll give you lots of support with the assessment um, and there'll be lots of content on the module that you can draw on to include if you want to. So what about the module approach? Well, as you probably picked up from the conversation that Rajesh and I are having, the module examines concepts around teaching and learning. It problematizes those ideas, problematizes the idea of education Education is very contextualized. It just doesn't it doesn't happen only in a vacuum. So we look at the different influences around education. And same for teacher professionalism. What does that mean? What influences it? As far as we can, we're going to use a case study approach. So there'll be lots of examples of real world examples of teaching and learning. There'll be theoretical principles that we'll explore together as well. We really look forward to working with you. Um, this module will appeal to you if you're interested in areas around education, theory, concept and practice. Now, you might have teaching experience or experience in an educational setting formally or informally, or you may just be interested in learning more about the ideas we're talking about. But what we really, really would like from you um, is your commitment to learning, your enthusiasm, your engagement and curiosity and your willingness to dialogue with us, your tutors and with each other, your peers, um, so that we can do some really good learning and discovery together.
Yeah, we're really looking forward to giving a good grounding in some of the concepts that are important. And people often think that coming to a master's programme is about looking at theory. Well, the theory that we do will connect with your practice and we get it'll get you to engage with some of your experiences and hopefully it'll help you to understand the education landscape in a better way um, so that you can lay the foundations for, for your master's programme. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. We look forward to seeing you on the module.